Josiah Miller and Natalie Otano found each other on the app, and as their relationship blossomed, they actually documented every single step. TikTokers became obsessed, calling their videos to um, go vi causing it to go viral with over 20 million views and counting. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I just flew across the country to meet a girl that I met on TikTok to help her drive back to her home in Miami. Here's the story. One of my videos came up on her For You page. She went to my Instagram, I saw her picture, and I was like, she's cute. So I stalked her page pretty hard and then slid into her DMs. I finally asked her on a FaceTime date, which I got pretty dressed up for. And then we talked for a few hours every day for the next few weeks, and I was falling pretty hard. We kept talking, and then she was gonna come back to Miami to stay with her family. And I had the idea, what if we go on a road trip? What better way to get to know somebody than drive across the country with them? She thought about it and said, okay. I made sure to call her parents and let them know I'd take care of their daughter, got a haircut, packed my bags, set my alarm, got in the car and drove super early to the airport. So he flew out there and then we started our road trip and we went to like a lot of cool different places. Now we've just been in a relationship, going back and forth, figuring it out. I do feel like he's my person. <laughs> That is so cute. Welcome to Natalie and Josiah to the show. Thank you so much. I just can't stop smiling looking at that video. So um, this did not, as you pointed out, start with you looking at for a date necessarily. But Natalie, when you saw the TikTok post from Josiah, first of all, tell me what a French fry, a talking French fry, <laughs> did for you emotionally, because that's how he apparently hit your heart. I so love much. a French fry better than anybody, but a talking French fry stole your heart. <laughs> yeah, I just... She loves food. I, I love food so much. I, I don't know, I just saw the video, and I thought it was really funny, and I felt like I could relate to that. I have a lot of fries hidden in my car. Um, and, yeah, I thought he was really cute, so I just, I was like, okay, let me go to this guy's page, checked him out a little bit. Thought he was, uh, seemed like a really nice guy, so. I love the way you keep making eye contact. It's so sweet, we're rooting for you. <laughs> Josiah, I gotta tell you, you said so casually, you slid into her DMs. I mean, you saw her, you looked up her picture, you saw she was cute, you then studied her Instagram page to kind of get to know her? Yeah, sure did. I did a little, little, like, deep stock where I just went back. I just want to see what this girl's about, and uh, I, I liked what I saw, obviously. And, <laughs> and, uh, you liked a lot yeah, of pictures. Yeah, I decided to message her to see if there's anything further we could do. So you started liking a lot, because I tell people all the time, if you want to know someone, go on their Instagram page and then go to the very first post. Look at that post and then compare the last post. You can see the difference in physical, everything, and even <laughs> yeah. they become more savvy on IG. But Natalie... You agree to ride across country with him? I mean, that's I, a bold move. I, that is something, if my friend had told me that, I would be like, um, are you crazy? What if this guy's <laughs> a serial killer? You never know. But we were talking for on FaceTime every day for a month, and I just felt like I knew I kind of met um, his parents on FaceTime, too. We just, like, I don't know. I, I felt safe. And How many hours was this ride? Uh, it was like 45 hours plus. 45 hours plus. That's so crazy. LA to Miami. Was there any point that you thought, mm, I don't know, this is, or, or the whole ride was just a, a beautiful trip? No, I mean, for me, I'll speak for myself. <laughs> but, uh, the no, whole ride was, was super fun. Like, there wasn't any awkwardness. I mean, we were, it was like, we had talked to each, each other for so long. So I felt like I really knew her, but it we just. We were just kind of winging it too. Yeah. Right. We didn't even know where, what how we were gonna plan the trip. Yeah, and then when we met in person, it was like the same, it just continued, and uh, yeah, we had an awesome road trip and got to see a lot of really cool things. And, and things are um, going was, strong. Yeah. yeah. Oh going my gosh. Trip. Well, congratulate. I love the way you've shared the story. You know how many people are inspired? I don't know about the road trip across country, but when <laughs> yeah. in doubt, a talking French fry is your way in. That's <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying. That's the way to the women's heart right there. Uh, well, congratulations on everything. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thank, Thank you, Terry. I love it.